Hi lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Janet Ousua, a community health nurse, and this channel is about health education for kids and elders. Consider subscribing and get all insights about your health right here. Kindly like, share, comment down below at the comment section. On my previous video, I talked about the parameters in family planning and then condom to be precise and and how to wear it correctly its advantages things you should check before putting the condom on so we'll leave the link down below at the description box you can go check it out we are moving on to the hormonal methods and then under the hormonal methods i've already explained the short long and then permanent methods so we are moving on with the short term so kindly watch this video to the end if you want to know all the hormonal methods when you talk about the hormonal methods the hormonal methods are methods that contains in, um, synthetic hormones called estrogen and then progestin and then they are similar to the estrogen and then the progestin produced within a woman's body to control her menstrual bleeding so the hormonal methods are the most effective method of child spacing and also fertility control the side effects of this hormonal methods. Some of the side effects are nausea, headaches, heaviness of the breast, and then changes in monthly bleeding. Okay. So the mini pill, it is a birth control pill which contains um, only one hormone, that is the progestin or the progesterone. And then it is better choice for women who are breastfeeding because it does not decrease in breast milk production. The mini pills are usually of the same color, unlike the combined pills where there are 21 tablets have same color and then the other seven also having another same color. Okay, so let's see how this mini pills works. First of all, it takes the cervical mucus Secondly, it reduces the activities of the cilia in the fallopian tubes and so reduces the movement of the sphinx. There are different types of brands of this mini pill, but the common ones that are available here in Ghana is the microlux. So this is it. This is the microlux and this is how it is. This is it. This is it. So you see it's all white it's not like the combined pill like this so this is it so if you are taking it you follow the arrows the arrow here so you take it from here yeah so to the end like this then you start again from the second line to the end so this is it. This is the microlute, a mini pill. So microlute contains only progestin. So let's see when you can start taking this microlute. Six weeks after delivery, you can start taking this microlute, this mini pill. Then when menstruation period resumes, you can also start taking this. Then immediately or seven days after first or second trimester miscarriage or abortion. How it is taken? The pills are taken orally, daily, preferably at night around the same time. But if you want to take it in the morning, you should follow that trend. You should take it solely in the morning. If you want to take it in the afternoon, it should be afternoon if you want to take it in the evening it should be in the evening so in case you forget to take the pill this is the trend this is how it should be so first if you forget to take one pill take it as soon as you remember then you take that day's pill um at the regular times which means you will take two pills that day I hope I am clear. And then the second thing too is that if you forget to take two pills in a row, take two pills as soon as 
you remember yes take two pills as soon as you remember and then take another two pills the following day then you continue taking the one pill a day and then you can use a backup method like the condom and then the third point is that if you um, forget for three or when you forget to take like three or more pills stop taking the pills and wait for your next uh, monthly bleeding or you can use a backup method and then you see your health provider before you can continue then how soon can a woman get pregnant after stopping um, this pill every woman is different but over half of users can get pregnant soon after stopping taking their pills or soon after taking their last pill so over 80 percent will be able to conceive within a year of stopping the pills and then a few will take longer period so everyone is different and then one thing about family planning too is that we don't do any lab before you can do it so you try a method if you think it's not working for you you can stop or you can go and switch to a different method let's see some of the common side effects of the mini pills irregular bleeding or spotting amenorrhea and then occasional or occasional mild headaches okay so the advantages of the mini pill one it is reversible and then it returns fertility rapidly and then can be used by nursing mothers as early as six weeks after delivery it does not change the quality of the breast milk it, it does not suppress lactation and it does not increase the risk of estrogen related complications such as heart attack or stroke and then of course it has its own um, disadvantages too so irregular bleeding and then should be taken every day whether you have sex or not whether you'll be having intercourse or not amenorrhea and then some women may have um prolonged or heavy menstrual bleeding and then it does not protect against STIs. So this is all about the mini pills, all that you have to know about the mini pill. So on my next video, I'll talk about the combined pill, how it looks like, how we should take it, and then advantages and then disadvantages of it. So Kindly give this video a thumbs up if you think this video is useful. Like, share, comment down below at the comment section. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thanks so much for watching today's video. See you again on my next video. Bye.